What's going on, everybody? The Airy Lord is back. Welcome to a different type of vlog. Um, I did not plan to make this video at all. I went on probably the most retro wild goose chases of the internet that I have probably ever gone on, like in the longest time. Maybe not ever, but for just browsing. Um, for just having an hour or two to chill before I was going to head to bed before work tomorrow. Uh, this was a pretty crazy um, rabbit hole that I fell down. And I felt compelled to make this video because I didn't know how else to uh, convey the thoughts, the nostalgia, the stories. I didn't know where else to put it. And then I remember that I have this YouTube channel that I sometimes use. I'm still consistently making review videos for The Walking Dead, at least until season 11 is finished or the Rick Ryan movies fucking come out. Um, and then I've been also this year, you guys have been following along with my retrospective, which ever since I hit my channel anniversary on December 27th of 2020, I've been going back in time to old videos that I made way, but like, like I, the first part, the first retrospective was the first video that I ever made. And and so after I did that, I ended up doing um, a video of me watching um, my unboxing of my camera and then um, this old camcorder software I used to use. So I made three of these videos so far. So this is part four. Now, admittedly... <laughs> Admittedly, I was going to do one in July, and I was going to do it on Dark Side Phil, um, who to this day some people still know me from his content that's on YouTube, both on my channel and his, <clears throat> from years ago. I haven't played with the guy in over five years at this point, um, but there he's still very active, so people remember some of the things. <clears throat> that we used to do back in the day. And admittedly, I was going to make part four about Phil. I was going to make it because in July, it was the 10-year anniversary of when I went to Kineticon, a convention in Connecticut, and I met him. And I was going to do a retrospective on those some of those convention vlogs that I made at that convention. And I thought better of it just because there are still there is still a large group of people that don't like him and I'm not associated with his stuff anymore so I didn't want to kind of put a target on my back um, and it just it, it was gonna stray too much I would be talking about his stuff rather than my stuff and I, I wanted to keep it more on my content so that was why I opted not for part for part four not to be about Phil. And then I just didn't continue. Well, when I didn't do that, I was like, okay, well, then what's the next retrospective video going to be? Because if you follow the chron like the chronological order of my channel, after my first video, after the camcorder and the camera and some of the stuff that I used to record my gameplay, it, it naturally led into me meeting him, which made my channel grow. So not discussing him was kind of like a big gap in the retrospective. And therefore, I didn't, I didn't have really another retrospective video to make until right now. This is probably one of the. This is going to be a wild video, and I'm almost. I'm hoping that it's going to be a beacon call to this community that I used to be a part of, because this was one of the most OG internet-based communities I was ever a part of, and I don't know what there was before because I was too young to remember. But all I know is that this community was big. I don't know how big it was, but it was a very large community. What I'm talking about, obviously, you can see from the title of the video, this is about a website called Game Talk. And I used to be a part of this website back in... We're talking 2004, 2005 is how old. This is the... The first, my this was my first ever experience with the internet. Not just gaming, not just just websites or uploading footage. This this is this precedes 
everything. It precedes the channel. It precedes anything I had with online gaming with my Halo 3 days. It precedes any of the console games I played. Maybe except like the era. It was back during the era where I was playing. You can actually see one of the posters on the wall of Jack and Daxter when I was a kid playing some of the platformers. And it was around this time. You got to keep in mind, Facebook did not exist back then. YouTube. I think like they were just starting. These were websites that were novices. And at the time, Game Talk had a bigger community than some of these websites because they were the new kids on the block. YouTube was a new kid on the block. Facebook was a new kid on the block. Twitter wasn't released yet. MySpace was still pretty big at the time. And so this this website, I stumbled across it. I don't even know what I was searching. But I searched some gaming topic, and I stumbled across... It was an archive of forums. Essentially what Game Talk was, it was a giant database of forums for any game you could possibly imagine. And it was there were subfolders upon subfolders upon subfolders of... Essentially how it would work is you'd see a game in the menu. You'd click in... And then there would be this kind of itemized chat where you could click into a post and chat. It's a little bit like, I'd say it's the combination of Discord and Twitter. Like it's, it was, it was unique in the sense that the content didn't live on one page. Like there were so many sub folders of like, you have the main website and then you'd have like the admin page. Then you would have the other page, the random page. There were some topics that weren't even for gaming. Like there was ones for wrestling. People talked about personal issues on this page. There were there were so many sub folders of sub folders on this website. Like it was just like a maze. It was a maze of different places because you could go from Mario to like Jack and Daxter or you could jump, you know, to talk about Halo. Then you could go to the random. Like there was a there was a thread I used to go in called Pointless, where it was just anything. And one problem that the site used to have, if I recall, was spammers. Like, they didn't have... I mean, you got to keep in mind, the architect of this website was like 1998. Like, this was pre-2000. This was before, like, the PlayStation 2, Xbox, as far as I recall. I was there for the waning years of the original Game Talk. All right, I'll, I'll get to like what, because it still kind of exists now. It's basically a dead entity. I'll explain that though. But essentially it was, if I'm looking at the years correctly, it was from 98 to about 2005, 2006, roughly. Um, <clears throat> actually, no, that's a lie. Actually, it went 20 years. 98, I think to 2008, because something happened in 08. Um, there's an interview with the founder that breaks down what happened, but essentially it was 20 years, right? From 98... Oh, no, that's not 20 years. What the hell am I talking about? Um, no, it's just 10 years. 98 to 2008. Yeah, that's only 10 years. Sorry, I can't do math. Um, <laughs> um, so, to get back to it, yeah, the site lasted 10 years. I'll, I'll explain, as far as I know, what happened. I wasn't a moderator, just to explain wasn't a moderator, I was just a normal user. I went by two usernames on this website. Actually, you know what? I've been saving a surprise on my computer for anyone who like remotely knows what I'm talking about. Through <clears throat> just searching around, I found a like archive of what the website looks like, what it used to look like. It's kind of like the back in the day time machine thing you can do on websites. So without further ado, this was what Game Talk looked like. This was it. It had this dark blue background, and then you had the black here. So I don't know. So this, I don't. Someone archived just this page. So it's on the Rengoku Sony PlayStation Portable. And here's what I'm talking about. Look how many different sub genres of shit that there is. So it started out with requests. Then you had RPG chat, Badland. I mean, I'm not going to list all the shit out, but <clears throat> you could do... There are other topics. Music, movies, books, graphic novels, 
anime. Here was the pointless forum. This is one of the most... Po I was going to say pointless. One of the most popular forums. Because people would... Obviously, pointless. It was just like freedom. <clears throat> Normally, the mods would control content that was in and around any of the forums that didn't pertain to, obviously, the pointless forum. Um, because if it's something about books and it's not books, it gets tossed out. The mods were pretty, you know, they had a hierarchy. They actually had, I don't think it's showing here, they had their own chat channel. Like, it was kind of like the... I think, I don't use Discord that much. I don't. Like, Discord is kind of like the new game talk in a sense, but it's, like, better and modernized with technology and everything that's going on with gaming right now. So, um, <clears throat> but there's, like, an admin chat. And so, here was what would happen. So, this this is a post. This is, like, a post that has been time-capsuled, what you're looking at right now. So, ignore the content. Like, we don't care. I don't know... First of all, I don't know who any of these people are, but look, just look at the dates. August 29th, if, if these are to be believed, August 29th of 2005. These posts are almost 20 years old. Some of these people on here. Like, I don't, none of these usernames uh, stick out to me. But there were a couple of people that I was in contact with. There's actually a guy I'm Facebook friends with to this day who I met on this website in the Jack 3 forums. Um, I forget what the hell his name was, but he ended up going by Enrique on Xbox, and he's now Nick, a friend of mine who I've kind of lost touch with over the years, but every now and then we chat. And But I mean, I have his contact on Instagram and Facebook having, you know, salvaged that from, from all of this. Um, so then, but, but then again, look, look at the number of subgenres you have here. <clears throat> popular new PlayStation 2 forums, popular new GameCube forums, popular new Xbox, PC, Game Boy, Nintendo. So the way it looks like it was organized, it's by console. So you had Xbox, GameCube, PS2, but keep in mind, this was around the time I'm imagining that the site collapsed. Because this was... I don't think the 360 is indicative here. Actually, no. Xbox 360, PlayStation 3. So I think that was the last console era they got up to. I think it was the, th the early days of the 360 PS3. And then the site shut down in 2008. Um, so yeah, it says copyright 95, 2005. I don't know if... Because it's angelfire.com is what we have here. Is the this Somebody posted it on... Game Talk, so this, and again, I'm going to get to this. I'm jumping around the story a little bit here. But this is a secondary website called Game Talk X Zero, which was made by an admin back in the day named Shane, who I've actually had extensive conversations with. I'll get to that in a minute. I know I keep putting a lot of stuff off. But essentially, I don't know much about the guy. It was a guy named Mike Pooler, who... And I tried, like, Google, uh, YouTubing his name, but it didn't come up. But there are interviews, and they, they talk about... Actually, I can just probably search. Um, Mike Pooler, Game Talk. Um, yeah, so here on the newer website that Shin opened, Shane Shin. Um, so this is from 10 years ago, um, an interview that he did. Um... So essentially what happened was this website had gone on from 1998 to, to, to 2008. And then one day it just randomly went down. It was just dead. You would try to access it and it was just dead. It just like you couldn't, there was nothing to access. But then when you went back to the page, there was this banner that said, a new and improved guy. I remember this vividly because I was like refreshing the page endlessly to see if I could. I mean, keep in mind, I was a kid. I was in middle school when this was going on. So I had the free time to uh, to do this. And so I was refreshing the page because it was like a brand new game talk, like coming soon. So it was almost like the relaunch of game talk. So it, it was... Under the bracket of, oh, like the site didn't die, 
it was just it's being rebooted and so i'm not going to go through this whole interview here <clears throat> but essentially mike either for personal reasons or technical reasons didn't keep up with the website um so he talks about it a snowballing list of things to do the last straw was technical more like an act of god than anyone's fault the server itself self-destructed in the isp so again i'm not very like my job is in the tech industry but i'm not like se like i'm not like web coding kind of guy like i don't know that realm so i'm not sure about isps and self-destructing servers i don't i can't give an opinion on that all i know is that mike vanished essentially like it was very odd like the site went down mike vanished there was no new game talk and i think a lot of people and i remember seeing posts like people lost contact with people they had met on this forum like imagine imagine you've got a pen pal over i, I was gonna say facebook but people use real names on facebook so let's say twitter right you, you guys got two you know handles on twitter and all of a sudden like again just for the sake of argument twitter you know eats shit there's a fucking massive fireball that blows up all of their servers and twitter's dead like twitter ceases to exist it's completely gone you would lose contact with people you were dming people you were mentioning in your ads people you were replying to and that's essentially what happened with game talk it was a massive community again think of actually i uh, know it's on here yeah imagine a, a a community for every single one of these links and i know if you click in like if i do jedi sith nothing's gonna load right this can't be reached but just imagine that there was a community for every single one of these little links for every little link there was a community and it might have seemed it might have seemed fragmented but there were passionate communities within each one of these games and as soon as it got into a larger realm you could go into 360 or ps3 nintendo like you could go into the larger bracket categories which is why they put them up here and then you had like the pointless forum was a great that was kind of like the lounge right like imagine like the college dorm lounge you'd go to the pointless forum shoot the shit like once you were done in the small forums you'd come there and then you'd, you'd hang out and it was just it was just typing like there was no webcam no there was none of that it was just it was this it was this was the format of how it looked like you'd log in you'd post you'd see your little post here your username and when you posted it so and then it would it would be organized like this the green bar the blue bar like and then you would have this little thing add your own reply and you could choose it's funny you could actually choose to not have a password with your username which was really odd i remember for one of my usernames i didn't have a password and someone stole it so i had to make an entirely new username and i created a password um Fun fact, I still use that password for some of my accounts to this day. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you what that fucking password is. But the point is, I still use that password for some of my accounts. And I always think to myself, I'm like, oh yeah, this was from the old days. Like, like I mean, not every time, but like it's so ingrained in my head because I write it all the time. But <clears throat> yeah, so anyway, so Mike's gone. Game Talk is dead then this site it's i don't know what happened to it but this used to look a bit like this so this website looked a bit like this website for a period of time so a guy like i mentioned shane shin opened a new website which acted basically he opened a new like a new game talk but all it was was a copy and paste of Mike's old game talk, but essentially on a new server and ISP. And so he was attempting to salvage some of the lost communities that came out of the destruction of all of this. So, and then, <clears throat> I, like, I mean, I didn't, after that website went down, that's essentially where I stopped chatting with people. But most of my interactions, and I had a fucking epiphany. Look right here. 
the Jack, Jack 2. This was where I lived. Like, I, I didn't even have my own computer. I was on my mom's old, super slow Windows XP laptop accessing these forums and it was in the jack 2 and jack 3 sub forums where i met people like nick there's a guy named uh ramrod man 31 i've never uttered his name on this channel because i it's it's someone who i was friends with i never could find his account if you search it like if you just google search it, it there's like two posts from the new game like the the new one that shane built but they're from like nine years ago um, all I know was the guy was Australian, um, but I don't know, I didn't, unlike Nick, I didn't get this guy's contact information, so, and he, he and I would, you know, chat, you know, Jack and Daxter stuff, and he was a cool guy, and I'd never, it would be a fucking miracle if I was, was to find his name, I mean, I'll put it in the description, I'll try to put it somewhere, I mean, it would be a long shot if, I, I mean, I'm gonna make this screen the thumbnail. So that people see this and they're like, oh shit, Game Talk. Like, I want this video to attract old Game Talk users so that we can maybe have a little powwow in the comments of the old days. You know, like, I used to go my old username, so I had two. I was Mewtwo, Mewtwo God 99. So Mewtwo as in, because I was a big fan of Super Smash Brothers. Like, I played it a lot back then. So Mewtwo, the Pokemon... 99 nine. and then on the new the newer gtxo that shane was had i joined in 2009 when that was the 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 second version was created i went as destroyer 789 which was my gamer tag on xbox for a brief period of time before i changed it to the area lord which obviously matches my youtube name so those are that's the history of usernames that I've had. Um, but I remember there were other people that I used to talk to, like Keyblade Mage, Arrow. Um, yeah, it was just... And, and again, like, for me, this was what... Like, for anyone, for any kid who, like, first gets into social media, who gets into Facebook or Twitter, like, those are the standard social media accounts now that anyone it's just natural like that's where the social media lives back then these were emerging entities like the term social media wasn't even really a term back then like it was like we created this by having communities like this this was the birth of online text interaction in, a, in, in an organized manner, you know, obviously you had stuff like AOL Instant Messenger, AIM, e like the old email stuff, stuff back from the 90s, but like stuff like this organized it, you know, the, the old MySpaces, stuff like this. This was how people had like some type of organized methodology to, 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 to find people with common interests. Like if you think about what the new technology is like even something like TikTok, like the latest biggest freaking thing that is the the core functionality of that is to bring people together who have common interests and that was what this site did all those years ago and it's i mean so I really don't know. I don't even remember, honestly, even though it was an, only like an hour and a half ago. I can't for the fucking life of me remember what I searched to get down this rabbit hole. I have no clue. All I know is that I'm here now. And it's funny, you can actually see the stats right now. I think Riven, Riven might be Shane, uh, Shane Shin. I think he changed his username. Now, apparently, this is one thing I want to know, if there's anyone from the new site who's sticking around. Apparently, there was something that happened in February of this year that, like, caused a meltdown on the site. I don't know if it was just drama or it was technical, but I do want to know what happened. I actually reached out to Shane just an hour ago uh, through the old... I had his contact from when I messaged him in 2014, and so... 
I I want to know what you know what happened because you know this this basically I mean one two three one two three four I mean you got twelve you got twelve compared to I mean I'm not even gonna count all these but twelve compared to I mean obviously I mean look at some of the fucking games in here like GTA Liberty City stories Hot Shot Golf PlayStation Portable Chat. Let me tell you guys, I am old enough to remember a time when PSP had, like, a, a, a community, you know? When, like, that portable gaming was big. Oh, man. Um, it's, it's utterly crazy. And again, like, by the time I started YouTube... I was long gone from, I was like four or five years removed from, from this. And it's just, it's crazy to like, like everything with the pandemic last year, like it obviously like stuff that happened two years ago feels like a thousand years ago because it was a pre pandemic world. But like when you, go back and try to contextualize stuff like this a place like this like i i mean it's just crazy like i i needed places like this like to talk to the game talk community if there's anyone from the game talk community i mean like i was bull like you know i moved to a new state in 2005 and i was harassed and I was bullied in that new school had a hard time making friends I mean this is kind of personal and it was a community like this that allowed me to then move into other online communities that allowed me to move into Halo 3 where I had a clan and that allowed me to then find youtubers like you know Darkside Phil and then I started my own YouTube channel like all of my gaming interests, you know, it was stuff that I naturally picked up with my brothers, my dad around the house. But the first time I ever felt like I had a community in gaming before YouTube, before any social media website, it was this. And like staring at this screen right now makes me feel like I'm in the year 2007, 2008. And that's just the most bizarre thing. Knowing how much has changed in my life since this. I mean, you can't even, you can't even put that into words. And I mean, <laughs> I'm struggling too. I really am. And I didn't know, that's why I wanted to make this video because I didn't know what else to do besides make this video? And sorry, I'm just making sure that I'm actually recording this. Uh, I am. Okay. I was petrified for a minute that um, I was like, oh my god, I'm making this video. I wanted to make sure that the the, mi the microphone was plugged incorrectly. Um, oh. Yeah, I... It's, it's really crazy um, to think about all this. And I it would be absolutely batshit insane if I could track down some of the old users that I used to interact with from this. But, hell, I mean, I've reconnected with old friends from my childhood, you know, just searching their names into Facebook. But the thing is, like, I knew them in person. Even though I was a kid, I knew them in real life. My parents could tell me their full names or whatever if they knew their parents and so on and so forth. But this is different because people went by usernames. Like, I don't know, like, Pseudo Christ. Like, I don't know what the hell this guy's username is. You know, I, I don't... I don't have any method of knowing who these people are. And I think that's why a lot of people were angry with Mike when the whole site crashed. Because it was abrupt. There was no warning. Like, th there was no, like, one week, like, hey, like, you guys have a week to say your goodbyes. To, you know, exchange contact information. There was nothing like that. Like... 
it just like in a snap of uh, you know in an instant it was just gone and you know the second site you know i applaud shane for what he did with the new website because i used it for about like a year but then you know the online gaming with the 360 like the more online forms like especially with like the 360 the voice chat youtube other things started to replace game talk and like there wasn't as much of a need for this um so yeah man i don't know if anyone on youtube has made any videos like i've tried i've tried searching around like i mean if you search game no I don't know. It doesn't. <clears throat> it doesn't look like it. Um. Wow. All right, guys. Um, I think that's all I have to say. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Um, it's. It's just really crazy to have that type of perspective, to, to remember that far back. And, you know, as you get older, to be like, wow, like that much time has passed where I can have like incredible nostalgia of technology that has passed, an era that has passed, and still be able to use some technology to try to piece it back together. And so, as much as this is retrospective part four, it's also a homing beacon of a sorts to anyone in the Game Talk community who, like, wants to reconnect. Um, who wants, you know, like, use the comment section of my video. Like, I don't give a shit. I'll let you guys post whatever the hell you want. Um, obviously, I'm not... I'm not looking, you know, it's not like I'm looking for some big revival or whatever. Like, I would just be interested to hear other stories, basically. Like, like where where did you find the website? Like, who did you talk to? What forums did you, like, I'd love to have a dialogue just to kind of learn that history of other people beyond the one that I just gave you guys in this video. Um... And so that's really just my purpose with it. And again, like I thought to myself, like I started the retrospective series in the spring. I was going to do the fill video, but then just, you know, I thought better of it. And then I was like, well, I guess I'm just going to stop. But then this brilliant idea just popped in like an epiphany. And lo and behold, um, we have what we're making now. So... Um, this was awesome stuff. Thank you guys for watching. This was kind of a look into a very personal side of myself. Some things that I, you know, talked about. I mean, I haven't talked about, you know, bullying in middle school. I feel like a lot of people are, though. But, you know, mine was rough. Like, I, you know, and again, like I said, like an online community, like that was the birth of that stuff. That was the beginning of it. It's like, hey, like this stuff is around. And it's new. We were the pioneers of that type of technology, of that type of chatting about your interest. And it was a safe space. And it wasn't connected to our schools. And it wasn't connected to our community. It was online. It was, I was like, I could be, t I, like, I had friends in California. I had friends. The, the fucking Ramrod man was in Australia for fuck's sake. Like, that's, I'm talking to a guy who's on the other side of the globe. And I'm in fifth grade on my mom's computer, like 10 years old. Shit blows my mind. And I know it's common nowadays with how much technology there is, smartphones. But back then, in that year, it was pretty damn unique. So... Anyway, that is all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. And um, 
I mean, if I ever find a gem of a video like this to make again, I will. But this was a long time coming. I'm surprised I haven't talked about Game Talk before. I've discussed it with some of my close friends. But I never have made a video like this. Never used the power of my YouTube channel to talk about it. And I'm disappointed that I didn't do that. Either back when I made more gaming footage in 2012... When I was doing all that, you know, when The Walking Dead was popular and I had a good following, you know, a couple years ago, I'm disappointed I didn't do that. I mean, I'm doing it now. It's still going to be a video that's going to be on my channel one way or another, but hell, at least it happened, right? So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This was awesome. And um, I hope if there's any Game Talk people out there, I will see you. Uh, the thumbnail of this video, I'm going to make it that screen of that one little back in time link that that guy that I was able to find because it was a guy from the new website who posted the link and I don't know how he captured it but I saved it so um yeah so cool stuff cool stuff so um yeah and if any of you guys from the I mean again it's a long shot to find Ramrod man but um if there's a way, possibly, who knows? Um, you know, again, the internet, it was it was powerful enough for me to meet him. Maybe it's powerful enough to, you know, reconnect. So who knows? Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you later. Maybe I'll do another retrospective. I don't know what it'll be. Um, I'm thinking it might be a video, though. Um, I mean, I definitely... I mean, this was no... This, all I, I used the visual of the website in my voice. Usually, my retrospectives are watching, like, a video. Like, I watched my old stuff. Um, and I'll try to continue that. Um, I do want to get back into that. I should do that to balance out The Walking Dead. It makes sense. If I'm just doing The Walking Dead review vlogs, it'll just make the channel one-dimensional. Again, not like I have an incredible amount of time to even dedicate to the channel but um yeah lo and behold i made this video so yeah anyway thank you guys so much before this video gets too long i'll see you later peace out thanks for watching